Welcome, coach, for the post-match press conference, match number four, Ghana versus Cape Verde. Before we proceed to question and answers, we will just ask you to give us uh, what do you take from this match lost by your team, which, is, which was your first match in this competition. I, I think in the end, we, we, we uh, conceded two bad goals from uh, our point of view, Cape Verde started better than what we did but then I think we grew into um, a, a good game um, I think the the we didn't allow the, dis the the disappointment or we didn't allow ourselves to get too disappointment after the goal that was ruled out from VAR uh, and I think we grew from that and um, we uh, at one stage, once we scored the goal in, in the second half, I thought we were very much uh, on the front foot uh, and looking that perhaps we could score a second goal. Um, but I think this is the nature of the, the game. Sometimes it goes um, in... The momentum goes with us, sometimes it goes with the opposition. Um, but you can't concede the type of goal that we did in the last moments of the game, particularly at this stage because at that stage you're pushing to to get the winner um, but at this stage what you can't do is you can't afford to lose the game and um, and we conceded a very poor goal and uh, uh, hence a hugely disappointing night for us thank you coach okay go ahead sir hello coach my name is Ibrahim media personnel from Ghana Coach, since you took over the reign as the coach of the Black Stars, because of the pedigree that you came in with the job, being coaching in the Premier League, a lot of Ghanaians had hope that you were going to change their fortunes and make them very happy. And Sir, make them can you just please go straight to yes, the question? Yes, but a lot of Ghanaians are heartbroken and we're going to work tomorrow heartbroken. What do you have to tell Ghanaians after so pretending on this humiliation, humiliation defeat? Thank you. Um, the, if you're asking me what, what I say to the Ghanaians is, is exactly what I'll say to anybody. We are incredibly, hugely disappointed with, with the result. We came into the game um, uh, with a game plan. We changed the way of playing the system um, uh, a bit so, so that we could start on the front foot. We thought the, the team that we put out was, a, was certainly a more offensive team that um, we put out. So this was our intention. Um, I think it, it rocked us, th the goal that we conceded. Um, but I thought we got back into the game. And at that, at that stage, it looked like we could go on and win it. Um, we are hugely, hugely disappointed with the, um, the result. And I know and this group of players also know how our public, uh, the Ghanaian people, see this game, see this tournament, and, um, and our expectations going into this one. And it's one that uh, I say it's, it's a defeat that we're hugely disappointed with. Here, ici, de, oh, derrière. <coughs> en short rouge, continue, continue, vas-y. Hello, coach. I'm Ken Halid, uh, Ken CVGH from Ghana. Uh, you just lost to a Minos in African football, uh, the Blue Shards of Cape Verde. They have been to the African Cup of Nations. This is their fourth occasion. You lost to them. How do you plan to bounce back from this defeat? Um, well, no, well, well, firstly, um, I don't think anybody should underestimate um, any opponents here because um, there are no um, what, what we regard as weak teams in this tournament. Um, so uh, certainly I wouldn't be uh, uh, disrespectful to any opponent, any opponent that we play today or play at any other stage. Um, it's up to us now to um, have to uh, recover tomorrow and we know now that um, going into the Egypt game it's a it's a game that uh, that we have to get a good result from you know I think that has to be the mentality the players have to be aware what this means and uh, how disappointed uh, everybody associated with the country and with the team are 
Um, and we have no choice. We have no choice but to make sure that it's a, it's a favourable result in our next game against Egypt. Ici devant. Thank you. I'm Asari, Uskani TV. Coach, as you said, you approached today's games with more offensive players. Mm -hmm. But are you going to accept that your changes of actually changed our style of play and um, it was more of defensive in fact, um, you know, during the last 10 minutes of the game. Did you see that? And are you going to accept it that way? That your changes caused the defeat to Ghana Blacks? Um, no, I, d I uh, don't accept that. I think what, what we have in, in any game is that you have to make changes. You have to make changes in a game. There are some things as, as coaches and in the team that we, we know that the, the general public or even somebody like yourself doesn't know. Players that, um, that uh, have not played as regular as others, players' fitness levels, and so we have to assess all of these things every time we make a, a substitution. And um, sometimes we can make a substitution which might seem, which might seem defensive, but, it, but it's not the case. We wanted to make sure that we got the result. And, uh, and probably, probably at that moment, that last 10 minutes of the game, they had missed a good opportunity. So they were a little bit more in the ascendancy. So we have to make what we regard as the um, correct decisions when we're making substitutions. What we can't account for, what we can never account for is conceding poor goals. And, uh, and I think when we assess the, the second goal, very close to the end of the game, and when we analyze it, it's, it's an incredibly poor goal to concede. And um, what we can't be accountable for is, is individual mistakes. This we can't be accountable for. All we can do is make sure that we, as a team, perform well and, and perform our duties as well as a team. Go ahead, sir. Okay, coach. My name is Apia Shadrach, a freelancer from Ghana. The last time I met you, I asked about the two boxes of your team, your attack and your defense. Since you took over, your defense seemed to concede a lot, just that opposition don't take advantage. Now, you met a sharp team who took advantage and scored twice. What is the problem with your defense as a unit, and what are you going to do to upgrade it in the next two games? We, we do what we normally do, which is, which is continue to work as hard as we have. We've, um, we've been in camp now for um, some 10 days. We've worked uh, very hard in camp. And, uh, and all you can do is, as a, a coach is, is uh, make sure that the training is well, make sure you get all the principles over to the team that you want to uh, and what you need to. And um, this is what we've done over a period of time. The, the camp has been good, of course. It's all about the games that we play and the results that we get. And you are judged, you are judged on the results that you have. You know, what we do as coaches, we will analyse the games, our game today, and determine where we did well and where we didn't do so well. Um, but um, what we have been guilty of today is, I think, conceding two very poor defensive goals. And, uh, you know, all we can always do is just to continue to work on the, the discipline, the shape, um, the determination of the team. This is all we can ever do. This was the last uh, question, so thank you, Coach uh, okay. Chris Hilton. Thank you also to you guys, and thank you for the translators, and see you next time. Thanks. Okay.